Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the card we're making today. Okay, so this is using um, two stamp sets. It's using the Honeycomb Happiness with the Party Wishes. Here's that one. And we're using the uh, You're So Sweet and the Cupcake. Okay, so this is the kits. This is going to one lucky person, so head over to my website, leave a comment to enter to win. This is the washi tape you're going to need. I've just got it attached to the bag. It peels up really nicely. Okay, so the supplies you're going to need is thick whisper white cardstock that measures 8.5 by 5.5, designer series paper. This is the Tempting Turquoise and the Brights collection, 5.25 by 4. We've got a piece of whisper white. This is just the normal whisper white. And that measures four and a half by three, and another piece that measures four and a half by one and a half. And then we've got this little piece right here that measures um, four by a quarter of an inch. Okay? Okay, so the first thing we'll do is score our base of a card. So I'm using the Simply Scored, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. I love the thick Whisper White cardstock. Okay. Now this piece just gets attached to the front. Again, that's five and a quarter by four. Okay. Now this is the piece we're going to stamp on. I'm going to use the Project Life Corner Punch and round the four corners. Okay, now what we're going to do is attach a piece of the, I can't remember the name of the washi tape. Hmm. I think it's, it's my party. <laughs> okay, so that looks about looks pretty good I think we may want to trim it just a tad yeah I'm gonna trim off a little bit <laughs> and if the rough edges bother you you can use your scissors you don't have to tear it okay now we're gonna take this little teeny tiny piece here I'm gonna use the banner punch to pin at the end Let's see. So it's going to go over it just like that. I'm going to get my silicone mat here. Somebody asked the other day if we still sell that. Absolutely. Yep, it's in the catalog. Okay. Just rub off the extra adhesive if you get any on there. Okay, so we're going to be using four colors of ink, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, Timpton Turquoise, and Melon Mambo. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp the cupcake, and then I've got a baby wipe here, so I'm just going to clean it after each color. Okay, I'm going to leave my Tempting Turquoise open because that's what we're going to use to stamp the greeting. And I knew when I was stamping these, I was stamping them a little too high, so I just need to trim that just a tad. There's one. Two. Three. And four. Okay, so now these are going to get popped up on here. I'm not going to stick them down until I actually stamp my um, my greeting, and that's right here. 
Make sure I don't have it upside down. <laughs> I stamped it a little high, but it'll be fine. So now what we're going to do is put a half of a dimensional on each of those cupcakes. I keep wanting to call them balloon. I think because I use the balloon the most out of this stamp set, although I have been obsessed with this stamp set. I actually have, um, I think, three more projects, so it's a good thing the Occasions catalog goes until the end of May. <laughs> okay, so let me position these again. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add our ribbon first. That way we will have our bow in place. Okay, what am I doing? I have forgotten how to tie this. So I'm going to start on this side and then wrap it. <laughs> okay, while I'm tying this, just a reminder that celebration ends March 31st. Um, and all the items in that brochure will retire, sadly. Okay, so now, oh, I swear, I've got to get my sharper scissors over here. So I'm just going to slide this down a little bit further. Just like that. And then kind of turn the bow to the side. See? See? Okay, now let's attach those cupcakes. I'm trying to space them equally. Not too bad. Now we're going to attach this to the front of the card, also using dimensionals. Looks like I'm at the end of that one. Okay, so now we're just going to peel the backing off of the dimensional and add it to the front. Oops. Okay, so there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.